Sound It Out Phonics brings you Learn TH by Lily Betts Resources. T and H together say F. Look at your mouth in a mirror as you say F. Your tongue should be between your teeth and you should see your tongue poking out. Say it with me. Ready? Here are some words with the sound f in them. Listen as we say them. Ready? We'll start just here with the number three. Put your tongue between your teeth and blow. Ready to say three. And then down here we've got a thorn. Thorn. If you look in a mirror as you say each of these words, you will see your tongue poking out. Up here we've got a moth. TH at the end of that word. Moth. And here a thistle. And lastly a thimble. Let's look at some words that have the sound th in them. Here's a nice, sweet, easy one to begin with. Let's say the sounds together. Ready? Remember, TH together make one new sound. Th. So we put our tongue between our teeth. Ready? Th. In. Thin. Thin. The opposite of thick. Thick and thin. And there's a thin slice of toast. Let's read a word that has our new sound th in it. Have a look at this one. We start remembering that T and H together make one sound and we say th is this. This. All right. Not too difficult, is it? Let's try again with another word. Have a look at this one. T and H together say th, and we say th at th that th that. Did you manage? Well done. Have a go at this one by yourself. Did you notice? There's the TH makes one sound. Then. 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 What could we put that in a sentence to say? I went to the shops. Then I went home again. Here's another one. You're getting very clever at them now. I'm sure you'll manage this one quite easily. There we go. TH. Put the tongue between the teeth. Them. Them. Will you go with me or will you go with them? Or look at them. They're having fun. Another one for you. There we go, marking the TH just so that we know it's there. W -ith. With. With. Shall I go with you? Would you like to go with me? What shall we have with our chips for tea tonight? We can use that word in lots of sentences, can't we? Here's another one for you to try. See if you can read this one, but look very carefully because it's a little tricky. D 
Did you notice that this word hasn't only got TH, but it's also got CK, making a nice big hard K at the end. So we're going to say th it. And here's the last word for you to try. Have a go by yourself first. And so here we go. We have TH, tongue between the teeth. Th -r, and I hope you noticed double E saying E. So let's just sound that again. Ready? Th -r -e, th -r -e, the number three. Here we have another little word that I expect you know by now anyway, but just out of point of interest, you can see that it begins with our new sound, TH, with the tongue between the teeth. But you might think that you can't sound it out. In actual fact, you can. This little word belongs with the words me, he, she and be. I mean... I want to be a doctor when I grow up, that sort of be. And we would normally say it the, and sometimes we do. But I would imagine you think of it as being the. However you think of it, it comes into this family as a th word. The apple, the egg. All right, and you need to know how to spell it. But I'm sure you do anyway. Most children just say, T-H-E, the. Now we're going to read some sentences. I'm going to give you a chance first to have a look and see if you can read them by yourself. So if you need to stop the video to have more time, then please do that. So as we look at this sentence, we notice first of all that we've got T-H here, this, this. We've got T-H here, in thin and we've got ch saying ch here ch ip chip and then we're ready to read okay sound out again if we need to this this is a thin th in thin ch ip chip let's say it again properly ready this is a thin chip. Do you like thin chips? I like thick chips. Here's another one for you. Have a look first by yourself. Now let's have a look together. Did you spot the TH here? W, if, with, and the TH here? Th, em, them. I hope you did. Now let's read it together, shall we? I w, il, will go w, if, with th, em, them. You might not have needed to sound out those other words but some children might have done. Let's read it again and see if we can do it without needing to sound out now to put some expression in. Ready? I will go with them. I will go with them. Well done. Here's another sentence for you to read. Look through it first as usual. See if there are any words with our new sound, th. And then see if there are any other words with sounds that we've already learnt. Sound them out and then read the sentence. Let's have a look together, shall we? First of all, our character this time is J -I -L, Jill. What's Jill doing? Jill has, and then we've got TH here, and then we've got two E's on the end, which I hope you noticed. Three, three, number three. Jill has 
3 and then I hope you saw CK on the end here black black Jill has three black cats all right Jill has three black cats that wasn't too difficult was it now I'm going to give you a big golden star because you've worked so hard and you're getting so clever so well done and keep practicing